So, Mighty Morphin issue 17. We've got a brand new story arc, a brand new writer, and a brand new artist for this brand new story arc of the Power Ranger comic. Now, taking over the writing for the Mighty Morphin comic is Matt Groom. Now, Matt Groom is known for the Ranger Danger podcast, Self Made, the Ultraman comic with Kyle Higgins. Uh, he did some DC stuff, I believe, and he's also worked on a bunch of other stuff that I'll have listed in the video in post editing. But one thing I gotta say, it's really cool to have an Australian Power Rangers fan writing a Power Rangers comic. That is really awesome, and I'm excited to see what Matt is going to bring to this comic moving forward, because what he's set up so far with this brand new story arc, uh, with Rocky getting the spotlight and Matt getting the spotlight, and the Rangers going off on their own off-world adventure, seems like a lot of fun, and I'm excited to see what he's going to bring to these characters moving forward. So, with the intro out of the way, Let's talk about Mighty Morphin issue 17. So, like I mentioned earlier, we've got a brand new artist for the Power Ranger comic, and I do apologize for butchering your name, uh, Mosuez, uh, Higado, I do apologize for butchering your name, but the art for this comic looks really, really cool. Now, when I first did see it for the preview pages, I was sort of taken back with how different it looks, but after reading the entire issue a couple of times, I'm completely used to it, and I think the artwork looks really great, because it's got this interesting sense of realism to the characters, they can still be expressive and stuff like that, but not only that, the coloring for this issue, the coloring done by uh, Roll a Goal and Golo, that looks great as well. So the art and the coloring looks really great as well. And once again, Ed Dukeshire doing the lettering. He's been doing the lettering for the longest time. Once again, knocking it out of the park when it comes to the lettering. So without any further ado, let's talk about the plot of this issue. So the whole premise of this issue, and probably setting up the story arc we'll be getting in the next couple of issues, is the Rangers trying to find a brand new command center after it was destroyed in the Altarian War. And we learn that because the power chamber is pretty much out in the open, if the power chamber gets attacked, that's going to sever the ties that the Rangers have to the Morphin Grid, so they don't know how long they can protect it, and because if the Morphin Grid gets destroyed or the power chamber gets destroyed, then bye-bye Ranger powers. So the Rangers have to go out into space and find a brand new command center because apparently uh, command centers you just find them out in space. You find the structure to where they are and apparently that's how you get a brand new one. But I can totally tell that this story arc is sort of leading to a brand new story arc of the Rangers upgrading their command center. Similar to the one we'll see in Zeo and Turbo moving forward. But because the Rangers need a brand new command center, they need someone to stay behind and watch over the planet Earth. And the Ranger who decides to stay behind is Rocky. Now, I love Rocky in the comics. Rocky in the comics is very fleshed out compared to Rocky in the TV show. And that's what I loved about Ryan uh, doing Rocky in the comics, because he fleshed out Rocky as a character, and we got to learn a little bit more about him. And Matt Groom did tease that the next couple of issues for this story arc or for this comic are going to be very Rocky focused, which I'm totally cool with. I like seeing Rocky in action and sort of stepping up to the plate. And you actually get to see Rocky sort of being thrusted into the leader position as he's the one left in charge on Earth to defend it. So right now, Rocky's got a lot of responsibility and Rocky can't just have fun just yet. He's got the Earth, he's got the Power Chamber, and he's got his family to protect, which that's something we actually get to see in this issue, is Rocky's big family. And you can see how much Rocky cares for his family, where he's the older brother, he's the responsible one. And I do like in this issue where Rocky's mum has to step out of town because of all the destruction going on that happened in the Altarian War. She has to leave town for a business trip, so it's up to Rocky to take care of his siblings. And Rocky doesn't even give it a second thought. He's like, all right, I can do that. I've got a school vacation that I've got planned, but I can talk to the guys and tell them I can't make it. And Rocky handles that really well when everyone's about to leave Earth. He says, hey, I've got to look after my family. I can't come with you. But the others are very understanding when they say, that's great because that way someone can stay here and look after the Earth. So I'm glad we're going to see Rocky take on some responsibility, which is always great because like, I, like I've said before, Rocky and MMPR Season 2 and Season 3, he wasn't that fleshed out in the show. And apparently there was stuff planned that the writers wanted to do for Rocky, but we never got to see that, and 
we're actually seeing that here in the comics. We're seeing Rocky's family. We're seeing Rocky more fleshed out. And we're seeing sort of Rocky step up to the plate. But if there's one character we also have to talk about in this issue, and that is Grace Sterling. Grace Sterling has been kind of a polarizing character, but she was kind of redeemed in the Altarian War of everything that happened. And she's there to help out the Rangers, but she understands the situation that's going on and lends the Rangers an Altarian ship so they can go out into space and find a brand new command center. Because they tell Grace, saying, hey, the power chamber is going to get destroyed, then we're all kind of doomed. And Grace is like, well, well, my Green Ranger powers are connected to your Morphin Grid, and we don't know where Lord Zed is, there's some Eltarians still out there, so we kind of need all the help we can get, so I'll help you guys out. So, I'm glad that Grace is actually wanting to help out the Rangers, and she's not being an antagonist towards them, like, she understands the situation, but Grace wants to use her technology, her powers, to defend humanity, to defend planet Earth from any ongoing alien invasions, and being the Power Rangers universe, there's probably going to be a lot more of them, but... Like I said earlier, I do like where Grace stands in this issue because she's not that antagonistic towards the Rangers. She understands the situation and she's willing to help him. She didn't argue with him that much or sort of bicker with Zordon. Like, she understands the situation. She knows what's at risk. She knows what's at risk for herself. So, like I said, I'm glad that Grace is finally coming around and helping out the team. So, maybe that rivalry with Zordon might be dropped. She probably still feels some kind of remorse towards him after what happened all those years ago, but like I said, she understands the situation, she wants to help out the team, and I do like that. So let's talk about the new alien threat that's come to Earth. So I love how this was written in the comics, like I like how Matt handled it. So as soon as the Rangers get on their ship and leave Earth, Rocky's like, all right, you got this dude, no pressure. As soon as it happens, boom, explosion. Uh, aliens start attacking or machines start attacking and Rocky's like saying, it's been two seconds, come on man, I like that, I love that moment that's in the comic, because I was thinking uh, the Rangers would leave Earth and then the explosion happened and then the cliffhanger for this month would be, oh no, we've got this brand new alien threat, what is it? But no, it jumped straight to the action where you see these machine empire looking dudes and their little... Uh, wheels that have claws attached to them and their designs look really freaking cool. I do like them. So Rocky jumps into action. He's barely able to hold off a few and he has to get saved by Matt. But after that, we do see what the next threat is going to be. And like I said, something related to the Machine Empire. I kind of know who this character is because I've read the solicitations and I cover them on the channel. So I don't want to spoil it for people who don't know who this character is. But I like their design. It's like this dark side Krang looking guy who's sitting on a throne. And then one of his lackeys is this um, weird looking robot dude that's got like... Uh, emoticon smiley face and his text uh, his text speech is very interesting as well it's like uh, this bright yellow sort of uh, fancy font or fancy futuristic font so I do like it indeed but this upcoming threat is going to be very interesting in the next couple of issues because maybe they're related to the machine empire maybe they're not i know who they are i don't want to spoil it for people who don't know but the issue ends with the rangers finding a brand new planet called ages 5 a planet covered in water now when i first saw this planet i thought oh this is kind of like aquatar it's covered in water will we see more aquatar aquarians uh, whatever you call them but this planet is probably very different compared to that planet, but maybe we'll run into run into some people from Aquatar there who might be off-world. You never know, because it is covered in water. But apparently there's also hyper whales there. I don't know what a hyper whale is. I guess I guess it's a whale, but hypersized. Probably as big as a whale lord. I don't know. But the rangers say, hey, if this planet's covered in water, how are we going to get to the command center? And Alpha replies with, well, the command center is far beneath the surface of the ocean so it looks like the rangers are going to go deep diving into the water to get this brand new command center so 
That's really freaking crazy. So that was Mighty Morphin issue 17. Overall, I thought it was a really great issue and I'm excited to see what Matt Groom is going to put out next with this comic and this story arc moving forward. I think he's doing a great job so far and I can't wait to see what he's going to put out next. But one thing I got to give Matt praise for with this issue is how quickly we jump into the next story arc for this comic because I was thinking there'd be a bit of a breather arc with issue 17 and then it would lead into issue 18, but no, right away we understand the situation that our heroes are in. They need a brand new command center, the rangers leave the earth, the earth is attacked, so it sets up the next thread in this comic right away, which is great. There's no like stalling or teasing what the next threat might be. The next threat is here right away. And that does make sense because with the rangers off earth and Lord Zed gone and the power chamber vulnerable, you can understand the rangers next enemy would be attacking the planet earth right away. But seeing how this next enemy could be related to the machine empire, will we see King Mondo as well? Because from what I've heard, this character may or may not be a rival to King Mondo. I don't, want, I don't want to give too much spoilers away, but I do wonder if King Mondo will show up as well. But either way, this issue was great. I love the art. I love the writing. The coloring was great as well. And I can't wait to see what is going to happen next with Mighty Morphin moving forward. So with that said, I'm going to bring this review to a close. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and don't forget to turn on notifications. Special thanks to all the members such as Swaggerfall and Andrew McCoy and the Power Bunny was a $30 member. If you want to get your name shouted out like these guys over here, hit the join button and become a YouTube member so you can have special perks and stuff like that on the channel. With that said, I'm bringing this video to a close. Thanks for watching, have a wonderful day or night, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, take care. Bye, thanks for watching.